It's great. A um, bunch of guys love the game of football, unselfish, like to work hard. Um, they're open to coaching. They want to learn. And they're guys that have all had a lot of success in, in this league. So it's been great. Um, the room is meshing well. We're hanging a lot outside the building, which has been good. So it's it's been awesome so far. How's Calvin been so far? He's always saying he has to kind of like pull himself back or have you guys pull him back because he wants to go full speed already. Yeah, it's tough because, you know, he kind of tweaked something early on. So we're playing it safe. More, more of a mental game with him right now, making sure he knows what to do, where to be, because it's a new offense. But yeah, I mean, he wants to get those reps with um, Trevor. He wants to... Um, you know, they got to get on the timing, learn learn each other's body language, or Trevor's got to learn his. Yeah, I mean, he just wants to play ball. He, he, he's been out for a year or so, you know, so he's uh, he's itching to get back. Does he look good to you? I mean, past the eye test in terms of what he's going to be able to do this year? He looks great. I mean, he's learned the offense really fast. He's a smart, smart guy. He wants to know more, but he looks great physically. I mean, he, he, like I, I was telling uh, Coach Peterson today, he reminds me of like uh, Deshaun Jackson. Like he's very explosive, but also very twitching, can stop on a dime, but covers a lot of ground um, very quickly. So that's that's who he reminds me of. You know, uh, back in the day, um, you know when Deshaun was young, but uh, he's doing really well. What are you most excited about this season? Obviously, there's some high expectations for the wide receivers, particularly. But what are you most excited about working with them? Just a group of guys. I mean, how you know, the part of, part of the one of the best things about coaching is the relationships you create. So uh, the guys in the room are great. They, um, you know, they if, if you got guys who work hard and are unselfish and don't care about anything but winning and helping each other. I mean, those are the guys and the guys you want to be around. And then learning their stories and uh, figuring out where they came from and building those relationships, becoming vulnerable with each other. Because then when bullets are flying, anything can be said. No one takes it personally. It's just, hey, we're trying to win this game. So I think that's what the offseason's all about, especially when you have new guys or I'm the only new, you know, I'm the new one coming in. Just creating those relationships it takes time. So that's, that's what this time's for. So we've had dinners outside. You know, over at my house, Christian's house, Zay's, so um, it's been good. I guess when, with these high expectations going in, does that put pressure on you? I mean, you've, had, you've dealt with that before with high pressure situations, but how do you kind of like temper that but also get them working hard towards the same goal? I mean, I think we always just always play like the underdog, no matter what the expectations are. I think that's the kind of the, the group of guys that I try to mold, you know. We can always get better, never get, never be complacent. There's always something to be better at. There's always something to learn, uh, try new things, create more craft. So, uh, and these guys are like that. They, they, none of them think they're the best. None of them think they're close to the best. They all think they have to get better to um, get to that next level where the expectations are. I mean, the expectations outside the building, I think, are different than our expectations, especially in the wide receiver room. When we, I mean, we broke down today and Christian said to the whole group, listen, we are not close to where we need to be. And, um, and then I told him, yeah, we're only as good as our weakest link. So we've all got to grow together. So that's the kind of like motive we're taking and um, going in, you know, soon to be this, this five weeks of off season. I just challenged them to be the hardest working group in the whole NFL. When you took this job, what was the most appealing thing? What was the number one thing that you were like, this is why I want to come? Um, I don't know. There was a lot of well, there was a lot of excitement, um, a lot of different things. But you know, knowing Doug, uh, I've known Doug for a while since 2010. Um, knowing the kind of person he is, and really being wanted, like you know, he came after me and, and really wanted me to be here, which. You know, that's what you want. You want someone who um, appreciates you, wants you. And, uh, so it was exciting to get here. And I knew there was good players. I knew that the team was, you know, on the rise. You know, but I don't know. My family was excited. Everything. It's just good to. I'm from Atlanta, from Georgia. It's a lot of Georgia feel down here in Jacksonville. Love the air. The people are great. It's been great.